here to participate in National Children's Science Congress and my theme is an appropriate technology for sustainable living. Under this theme, I am going to present a project which is uh, power saving street lights. As we know in our daily life, the power has a great role in our life. So we have to use it carefully because it's not, it is not unlimited. So as we know in highways, a lot of uh, places where there is less, less traffic and uh, usually in night, people do not travel. The street lights always blows up and a lot of energy goes in waste. To cope with this problem and to conserve, it, conserve the power, we have made this project. In this project, we are using IR sensors. Whenever the object will come in contact with these IR sensors, the light will glow up and when it will pass, the light will glow up and hence we can save a lot of energy. And that energy can be further distributed to the remote areas and can be used and the energy is also useful to make the street lights to run for a long time. This, uh, this model will have a great revolutionary effect in the energy conservation. Now I can call Mahathir of class 9 of JN Marine Assembly to tell some benefits and advantages of this program. Thanks for inviting me. As all of you, now I am going to tell you some benefits about this model. This model has many benefits. The material used in this model is easily available and affordable. Less complex work is done in this model. It turns out a large amount of energy that energy can be used in another various beneficial ways. Okay, and uh, you have he has told a lot of things about the uh, benefits of this model. And now I would like to say some more. We can supply the energy that is conserved by these uh, street lights to the remote areas in the hilly regions because uh, there we can only supply the electric wires. And because of the problem of fuse and all things, we can't go and repair all these things. So the energy that has been conserved here. So this model is a good one. I am going to show you how model works. I would like to thank the National Children's Science Congress Committee and our school science department and a special thanks to our physics teacher Mr. Chandrabhan Uike sir to give us opportunity to participate in this program and uh, to make our idea successful. Thank you sir and thank you very much.